Yo, 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 hey, welcome to my channel. This is the Hanson Chang YouTube channel. <laughs> I got this new like ninja monitor up top, so now I can see what I'm talking to, which is oh, so much better because I was using the Sony a7 III and you cannot see what's like behind what I'm filming. So I don't like, I, like check sometimes I've recorded things for like 31 minutes and the Sony a7 III cuts off at 30 minutes. So it really makes my life hell. I want to share with you in this video how to make a living without actually having any type of job. My entire life I have focused on trying to like hustle and make money without having a boss. So if you're in a job that you hate or if you're in an area of your life where you don't know what you want to do but you need to make some money, I'm going to give you a few tips. Actually I'm going to focus in on one that I think everyone can benefit from. In this video I want to share with you how to make money with real estate investing if you've never had any experience with real estate investing. I'm a videographer, so if I learned how to do it, then you definitely can learn how to do it because this is not even like in my wheelhouse of any skill that applies to real estate because I make videos. So how did I fall into this? My best friend was a realtor and he got into it, so I learned through him. However, the things I learned after he initially was like, I'm doing this, was a lot of it was on my own, but all the parts that I learned from him, I'm gonna share with you in this video so you don't need a best friend, realtor, buddy for you to actually be successful in this. So where do we start? The first thing you wanna do, this method will take you about, I'd say one month to learn. Your cost is nothing, okay? Because I'm gonna teach you how to find the deals for real estate investing, and I'm also going to show you how to match up people who want to invest in real estate and you can get a percentage of that upside if you do all the work. One of the first things that really helped me get out of the whole mentality of I need to get a paycheck from someone else was real estate flipping. And what I mean by that is I, at the time when I first started, I didn't have any experience in real estate. Fortunately, I had my best friend who was a realtor who showed me the ropes. But after I learned it, I was like, man, this is pretty easy. Everyone can do it to an extent. Now I'm not saying you're gonna go out and start buying properties immediately after watching this video and you're gonna start flipping them and making tens of thousands of dollars of profit. You can, however, learn the principles from this video and then apply them as long as you find the right people. And what I mean by that is everything I teach on this channel is going to be how you can make money using other people's expertise, how to find them, how to vet them, and then how to give them a little test project so as you grow, you grow together, you want to make sure that you have a good stable of smart, very professional specialists in each area of what I teach you. So in the end, you can find the opportunities and you can match them up to the specialists so you can make money. In this video, we're going to go over how to do that with real estate. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, okay, so real estate. The first thing I would do if I were you is if you don't have access to an MLS, and MLS is called a multiple listing service, Every realtor has access to it and this allows them to take a property that they're going to sell, put it online, put in all the information, how many bedrooms, how many square feet, show pictures, the descriptions. Every agent has access to this so they can see whenever a new property pops up. So if you're, the, if you're in the market to try and buy a property, you'll tell your real estate agent, hey, I'm looking for a three bedroom, this is my budget in this area. He can put in a search into his MLS system to, com to automate a search to be sent to you based on your criteria. Does that make sense? So if you don't have access to this, so uh, one site that you can use, and I'm going to use Zillow as a, an example, but Zillow is a really good tool to use to understand how to start even figuring out what, how much money people make in real estate and who those players are in your market. So let's go into it. Let's dig into it. All right, I'm in Zillow right now. Type in, type in your city that you want to, Look, think about flipping or learn about flipping. I'm gonna give you an example. So Washington DC. Damn it! Hi, babe. Uh, yes, please. I'm recording, my love, and you're in my video now. Love ya. Okay, so that was my beautiful girl. Oh, there's stuff on my desk. Oh, well, you're gonna have to deal with it. Uh, all right, so 
first thing I'm gonna do is in Zillow, go to Washington, D.C. Oh, that was my beautiful fiance who is, I keep looking up here because the, the screen's up here, but there you are. Um, I, that was my beautiful fiance. She just asked if she was wanted, if I wanted any coffee, she's gonna bring some to me. I live such a beautiful life in Bali. All right, so we dive into Zillow, okay? The first thing you're gonna do is pull up the city that you wanna look into. I'm gonna do Washington, D.C. On the right, and this is obviously like a really um, basic method. There's much more advanced, but this is for you to get started without any money, nothing, no create, no expensive softwares. The first thing I'm gonna do is look down this list and look for one that I, I is in a price range where I feel like it has been renovated, okay? So you'll be clicking through these. Like this one right here is brand new. It's 1.2 million. New construction, all right? Probably not renovated. So I'll go in here and I'll show you what I mean. Brand new, and what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to the price and tax history. This will show you the history of when it was sold and rented and everything from before. This was sold, in, listed in uh, February 6, 2020. No other history which means it's a brand new rental, so you can't base it off that. Look for something else where, where usually re renovated places show like um, show the a, a nice interior, okay? So let's, let's find one. Uh, well, let's see this one, 1.3 million. Okay. So I'll scroll down, I'll look at the history. Nope. So this was, nope, that's not right. That's not one. Okay, here's one. This one's probably renovated. 4718. Beautiful renovation. So that's a really dead giveaway. Whenever it says renovation in the description, that means it's renovated. So what are we going to do with this? Right now I'm looking 499,900, 4718 Clay Street Northeast. I can Google that. Uh, I can Google that actual address just to get, to get an idea of the, of the neighborhood, wherever you are. But here's really cool. Okay, now we're talking. Ooh. So we look at the price history. As you can see, it was listed for sale for 499,900. If you look, it was sold last year, March 5th, 2019, at $175,000. So if you do the math, that's 500,000 minus 175,000. That means it's about 325,000 is the difference. Now, that is not your profit. A lot of work went into this. Um, the reason why I like an MLS, and if you have a friend that is a realtor who has access to an MLS, is now you can go back to this listing back when it was initially um, put up in like February 15, 2019, and you can see those pictures. So you can see exactly what they did. So you can compare, what did they do? They knocked down a wall. Obviously, they repainted. They put in some ceiling lights and some floor. I don't know what the property looks like. Actually, what I'm going to do is I right now I'm going to go into my buddy's MLS and show you what the old listing looks like. All right, as you can see here, we got my buddy's MLS system, and I'm looking through some of the old photos of this listing. As you can see, it's a completely different from the Zillow listing. I mean, this is a lot of work to be done. There's a basement. Um, you. This is why I like to use MLS. Is you can see what the old photos looked like back then. Over here used to be a two bedroom, one bath. Bedroom, one bath. This is what the listing looks like in the MLS system. Uh, yeah, the square footage is about the same. You just want to confirm that this is the same listing as the one you're looking at to make sure just just get an idea of what type of uh, work they have done to it you can also find the old um, the old real estate agent so I'm going to show you a comparison between the old this thing and a new one okay so here's the old one and drag over the new listing and new photos. Here we go. Look at the stark difference. All right, this is renovated, f selling for one hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred, and the other one is we already know it sold for. Uh, but look, here's the exterior of the home. You just want to confirm that this is the same home. So let me see if I can find the outside. Uh, okay, here's the outside of the home. 
Um, let me see. Yeah. So this is the outside. They did a lot of garden work, a lot of yard work to it. They painted the house, obviously. Here's the backyard. That what it used to look like. And if you look at the side of the house, on the outside, look, compare it to the exterior of the house that they renovated. They did a lot of work to it. Here's the inside, the kitchen. There's the kitchen. That wall was there, and I don't think it is in the new one. So let's see. Let's find the kitchen in here. Okay, here we go. Here's a new kitchen. So if we click this. See that? The, uh, the wall's gone. They removed that and basically put in some new cabinets, some new appliances. It's pretty cool, man. Here's the basement. Look, they completely redid the, the basement. They put some drywall up, hardwood floors. And um, so this used to be a, it looks like they added another room or something. I think it's a, a four bedroom now or three bedroom. I don't know. But you can look at how many bedrooms it is now and get a sense from the photos of where they added another room, which is really cool. So. 500,000 and the person bought it for 175,000. That was a really good deal. I don't know why it was that. A couple things you can do is you can always reach out to, um, there's two realtors here, right? If you scroll down here, you should be able to find, here you go, contact the agent, right? You can contact the agent that, um, here you go, listing provided by Mark Mlacker, okay? So what I would do actually is I could send him a, a message like, hey, Here's my phone number. Uh, I'm gonna message that out, and I'll basically say I'm interested in this. I realize that this was a renovated property. I represent several real estate investors, and we're looking for similar properties like this to invest in. Boom, I'll send it off or I'll directly call or message his office and basically say that all realtors, they're in sales, they're 100% sales, so anytime you reach out to them, they're really, really nice as long as you're a buyer, right? Uh, or if you're selling your own home. So reach out to a realtor like this, then I'm gonna get the details. I'll be like, hey, can we hop on the phone? Specifically, 4718 Clay Street Northeast. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, Mark or Mark's representative. This is Hanson Chang. I'm calling. I represent several real estate investors. I would like to learn more about this 4718 Clay Street Northeast. Did you represent the buyer before they listed it? Chances are the listing agent here brought the deal to the previous buyer. And so they have a working relationship. So you can kind of understand really quickly what type of deals the investor behind this is buying or if it's directly the realtor so i want to see hey I, I saw that it was um i saw that your property was renovated could you give me the details i would like to know uh, how much the cost was for construction so on and so forth some realtors won't give you that information some will what's important for you to understand is that to get this information this is the type of inf information people charge thousands and thousands of dollars for to um, uh, to teach you. Now, if you don't want to pay those the thousands of thousands of dollars, I'm showing you a way to go directly to the source to uh, pretend you are a interested buyer and to get this information beforehand and tell him, hey, I'm looking for properties just like this, send them to me. Now, do not feel bad about you saying that you're an interested buyer because in reality you are. Because this is, now we're going to the next step. Now we have a contact. Do this several times. When I first started, I, I messaged like hundreds of realtors. I got, I basically exported out all the realtors in the area. I sent a default message to hundreds of them saying, I'm a real estate investor, I'm looking for properties. I think like seven or eight of them came back of the seven or eight. Two of them brought us millions and millions of dollars of real estate deals to basically uh, that we, we went to investors. So everything I'm teaching you right now is exactly what I did, okay? I understood 
the types of properties. I went to those real estate agents. I exported their emails. I emailed, I got like a list of a hundred of them. I emailed them exactly what I just showed you. Uh, and I asked them to send me properties and to basically in a, in a non like novice way, I asked them to teach me about the margins. So they would say, yeah, for this property, for each one they send me, I go explain to me how much I can sell it for, construction costs, all my in and what's my profit margin. So you got realtors doing all the work for you. They're finding you the properties. They're showing you if you invest this much, this is how much you should benchmark for construction costs, this, that, so on and so forth. These are the comparables, meaning when uh, comparable is basically whenever you sell something online, you want to see what other things that are similar to that sell for. A compar that's what a, a comparable is for real estate. When these people renovated this home, they looked at all the other properties on the market and they were like, uh, this is a four bedroom, three, three bath in this area for 1800 square feet. Usually you do it by, uh, to get a good ballpark number, you do it by number of bedrooms, how many bathrooms, and the square footage. It needs to be in the same area, and then you'll be in that ballpark. Secondly, you look at the photos, that'll give you a sense of how much of a renovation you need to do and how much staging and so on and so forth. They should do all that work for you. They'll bring you a property that's like, whatever, run down and beat, and they'll say, okay, here is what we can turn it into, and they'll show you the comparables. Make sure you understand they wanna get the sale, but you need to make sure that you do your numbers and talk with someone who does construction or hire your own team if you have experience and get a good sense of, okay, here's what I want, here's what it looks like. Do a walkthrough with that person, with that realtor, and understand how much it would really take to cost uh, to renovate this property the way you want. Once you have those numbers, now you have, you have a real estate investment opportunity that you take to people in the area. <laughs> I'm gonna do another video of how to find people that wanna invest in real, real estate, but this is really simple. Everyone that you could possibly know wants to make money, everyone. What you need to do is you need to brand yourself as someone who knows how to find these deals. You have a very proper like Google sheet that shows, okay, if we buy this property for X, here are the construction costs, minus the, the real st realtor fees to, to basically sell the property. We're gonna renovate this for, let's say this one took a year to renovate. I'm not sure why, usually it take three to six months. Um, but the holding costs, how much you have to, you have to pay ta property taxes, all these things you need to pay for. You can have the realtor basically tell you all these numbers and now you have a real estate investment opportunity and you take several of these that are available to people who have money who want to make an extra money. So you can go to them and say, hey, okay, I'm projecting we make about 100,000 or 50,000 in profit. I'll do all the work, I'll coordinate everything, let's split the profits down the middle. Ideally, that's the situation. However, if you're first starting and maybe you're using your friends or your family's money or, or people who have, you don't have a good track record with, you may need to like negotiate on that. Maybe they'll only give you 15% or 20% or 25% of the profits. Your job now is to find these investment opportunities, find the realtor or find the person who wants to invest in them get a couple deals done to build a portfolio to show those returns to then raise more money. This is exactly what I did when I was 30 years old. I didn't have any ex uh, experience in real estate. I literally just went through all these listings in, I would say two weeks, I really understood the real estate market, where properties were um, being renovated, and then I just followed what was being put out and how much money they were making, and I followed them to see, now what are they buying? I could see like, um, if you have access to this information, you can actually look up who's buying what, what real estate agents have listed and what they're recently bought, which is really key. Once you have that information, again, you'll have, you can ask this data from the realtors that you talked to through here. I'm, I wanna follow this real estate investor because they're making the most money. I just wanna do exact, just copy these people. It's so simple. I'm teaching you this method because I'm gonna teach you guys a lot on this channel about how to make money modeling other people's successes. This is the fastest way to learn. This goes into like rapid skill acquisition is modeling what works for other people. That's the fastest way for you to learn how to lose weight, how to make money, how to become better in your relationship, how to be happier. Everything, everything in life that you want to improve in your life, someone else has already done it. You just need to find those people and model them. I just showed you the best way I know of to find, to get your feet wet in real estate investing 
If you want me to go in more depth about real estate investing or anything, uh, any other topics, let me know. I'm just gonna kinda go for a free for all. I think next time I'm gonna teach you how to make money as a uh, broke videographer. Basically, that was me. I was like, okay, I love videography, I started it. You know what, next, next video, next video. Click somewhere around here for the next video. I will see you guys soon. This was really fun to make, actually. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you did, and leave me a comment if I glossed over anything that you didn't get. This was a very, very, very high-level view of how I got into real estate investing and uh, flipping properties in Washington, D.C., and this is something you can do, and you don't need a job. You don't need a boss to do it. This, all this information I just showed you is free online, or it can be accessed by other people that I just shared with you, realtors. Dude, I have, I love this like screen. I can see everything. Hands are outside. Hands are outside of the screen. Hands are inside of the screen. And this hand, no, this hand's in, this one's out. Yeah. Never saw that before my son. Yesterday.